Hello everybody, welcome back to Dad's Gaming. It's been a long, long while, but I figured I'd give um, some recording a go as I've got a very long, um, well not a very long break, but I've got some time to record and I figured why not jump straight back into a Minecraft mod. Um, and we're going to play a mod that I've, I've played quite extensively before, so it should be um, should be more about the um, the gameplay than the just sort of discovery, and that is Hexit. Um, now immediately you'll notice with Hexit there are buildings everywhere. You can see multicolored trees, sort of over there. There's a pink one, some more pink ones. It looks fantastic. There's a, a randomly generated structure over there, which is in fact a dungeon, but we won't get anywhere near to completing that <laughs> um, in the near future. I think we should try and fix this for now. Maybe not even. We'll just kind of realize the top floor to fix the bottom floor, I think. That's what we're going to do in here. And we also need to... Um, you can tell it used to be a barn or something. Uh, so, ordinary wood gathering that you start every bloody Minecraft map with. Which is part of the reason that I, I sort of haven't really got into another Minecraft mod. Is because, where did that other... Oh, there it is. It's just because at the start of every single Minecraft uh, map you have to do the same exact things over and over again. Hexit is a little bit different and you'll see why. Uh, I, I, I love this mod completely. Completely different to a, to a conventional mod pack. Um, this is a single player game but I can put this map into my server. Um, so we can potentially get other people into this as well. Uh, and I, Me and Blaze have a server but I'll just transfer this out. And, and transfer that out and, and put this particular world here. Hopefully that'll work. Right, we've got some wood. Stop rambling on about crap. Just get that wood out here. Waste not, want not. You know what I, you know what they say. Oh, and we have interestingly a dimensional door here, which is another thing that you get in Hexit. This is something I did not know when I was playing Minecraft. Uh, when I Minecraft Hexit before, and you would have seen these in my Galacticraft series as well, and I didn't have a bloody clue what they were. Um, let's go straight in. Standard. Create that. Uh, we'll just try that here for now, and then we will create a. Oh yeah, sticks. Oops. Is it hold shift or control? I don't know. Um. With a couple of axes. I want to need a pickaxe. I think that'll do. Right. Get rid of this. Um, now, yeah, the great thing about Hex is it, it, it's really different to um, to other mods. There's, um, there's some different world generation um, sort of properties. I don't know what you can call it. You know, I, 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 you know, I'll just tell you as we go along because I don't kind of don't want to spoil any surprises or anything. But it's really, really awesome what you can do with this mod. Uh, let's get these in here. Just plug the floor. So we've got ourselves a complete roof. And then we'll just literally tear the rest of this apart. So my aims in this particular playthrough of Hexit are just to sort of progress, not as fast as possible, because obviously you don't want to play the game too fast, it won't be enjoyable, but I, I certainly want to complete um, complete the early stages of this exceptionally quickly, um, and then move on to try and get into some of the more complex stuff. Um, there's There really is loads you can do in this mod pack. It's a fantastic mod pack, it's available on the TechIt, um, it's available on TechIt, on the, what's it called, the TechIt, um, Think we do uh, launcher. Come, my brain's gone to sh gone to shit. And um, you can, yes, you know, obviously like all mods, it's free. Um, as long as you've got obviously a Minecraft account, etc., etc. I will stop rambling. Just get this complete. And this is the kind of thing in tech in um. Other mods, take it, feed the beast. You kind of first night is about finding somewhere to like building somewhere to survive, or like nerd polling and just waiting it out, or going to find sheep as quickly as possible. Well, actually, that's a good point. We have got sheep here. And it might be worth just hitting up some sheep. 
for now. Let's jump down. Oh, have I got it on? I might actually have it on peaceful. Right, let's put it on recipe mode. So we don't want the other one. Options. Difficulty normal. Yeah, that's good. We want mobs to generate because it's that kind of mod pack where you want mobs to generate. So if you hit these, this, this grass here, this grows back, but you also get like loot out of it. Uh, I think this is a Zelda thing, but I never played. I never played Zelda much. Um, so that you saw, I picked hearts up, but it actually goes directly to your health, uh, which is useful. The, uh, mobs also drop that, but we also got some um, some arrows and some emerald shards. An emerald shard you can combine to make emerald pieces, and those combine to make emeralds. Um, it's sort of supposed to be an incentive for uh, um, to encourage trading with um, with uh, doodles. Right, one. Two pieces of wool. Need a third white piece of wool. Hopefully that won't be too hard to get. There's plenty of animals around here. Um, and as we move through the world, you see there's plenty of animals around the world as well. So we just jump this and we'll tear you to pieces. When they improved the animal noises in Minecraft um, a few months ago, it definitely they definitely made them sound they they sound a lot more like you don't want to kill them because they because you just feel sorry for the damn things, which is unfortunate because that's what they're there for to be deaded and stuff. Let me just take the big bits for now. How are we looking for the sun? Oh, it's just heading down now, so we've probably got about another two or three minutes of daylight, um, and I want to get to sleep. As soon as dawn hit, as soon as dusk hits, because I'm really not prepared to be fighting off enemies on the first night, and obviously I don't want to be pissing around, waiting. Um, so we'll just head down now and fill in some of these gaps where ordinarily we would put windows. This is not going to be in the permanent base, by the way. There are much cooler buildings to use as a as a base, and we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll see tons of these, man, they're awesome. Um, so, fours now, that'll do. And we've still got enough to make our bed, excellent. Uh, I don't know why I thought that would work. And a bed, excellent. Ooh. It's not sleeping time yet. Nah, I didn't think so. Let's get some food, because we're going to need some food as well. We've just got enough time to hack some, uh, hack the shit out of some pigs and stuff. Oh, bit of wood. Oh, piece of candy. Oh, no. Yeah, the, um, you'll notice in the top left there's a, like a, um, an indicator. A mob indicator, but it, it sort of it's never really worked any done my hexits. Um oh look, here we go. This is gravel, you need a spade to get it, and it has ore in it. That's pretty cool. You have different kinds of flowers, there's loads of different types of flowers. Um like this this flower here, sunflower. Just I think these some of these might glow in the dark, I don't know. Over here you might have just seen see if we can get it to load that chunk again. Why would it load it back here? We're not there. That doesn't make sense. All right. Well, I know there's one over there now, which is fine. Um, you can just see it on the map. I don't know how I forced it to load that chunk, but it's there on the map. Uh, and this is actually a really cool map. You can. It's um. It's very interactive. Well, there it is. It's a big tower, um, and you can enter that tower and you know get loot and shit. I think that probably will be the first place we need to go. Uh, once we've got all the sort of basic weapons, and you see this grass is growing back, you know, I punched it um, to get all the loot and stuff, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, just going to need to get some cobblestone quickly. It's getting a bit night timey, so oh, we can't sleep. That's annoying. Actually, the dim dimensional doors are a pretty good way of, of getting loot. Um, I played about with some dimensional doors, and I've seen them on YouTube since, um, since my, my Galacticraft 
because I didn't know what I was doing with them in Galacticraft. I didn't know what they were, how to use them. And in fact, I uh, I got Adam trapped in one on our Hexit um, for about half an hour because we didn't know what we were doing. Um, so yeah. Alright, it's definitely night time now. We want to get to sleep before mobs get to us. And we should be mob proof as well. Ah, oh, good. Right. <laughs>